Hello and welcome to Gorilla Gorilla Labs, where we help you prepare for all sorts of post-apocalyptic situations, whether that be simian overlords, alien invasions, or zombies, fast or slow. Today, the Caucasian mountain dog loves treats. Sit. Good girl. Hello, Misha. What you doing? This is Misha. Ten-month-old Russian of Charka, Caucasian mountain dog, wolf killer, Russian bear dog, so many names. She just turned ten months. And look at the size of this paw. She's going to be a big, big girl, huh? So... She's from the Ukraine. Her dad was over 90 kilos. And she is quite the dog. So we're going to talk a little bit about should you get one? What are they like? They are very expressive. And don't forget to stay till the very end where we'll talk about facts, history, and a little more about the great Russian bear dog. Temperament, life expectancy. Skip to the end if you don't want to watch puppies, but what are you, a monster? Who doesn't want to watch dogs play? All right, we'll see you there.
Thanks for staying to the end. Let's talk some stats. Caucasian Shepherd Dog. These dogs live a long time for their size is like 10 to 12 years. That's really good. Uh, my last one, the Great Dane, only six and a half years. That's that's tough. They go quick. Height, 20 to 30 inches. This says weight, 99 to 170 pounds. I think that that's a little bit low. Usually, I've seen like the top end is about 100 kilos, 220 pounds, and roughly sitting at about three quarters of a meter or two and a half feet tall. Uh, they're smart, strong, fierce, loyal, but very stubborn. They need someone who's used to using um, not so much force. If you mistreat these dogs, they'll remember, and they'll they'll that may turn on you, and that could be bad. They need uh, positive, reinforced training, lots of treats. That's what I use, and uh, socialization from like the day that they can go out start socializing them with dogs, people, all sorts of things, cats, whatever, because they uh, they do have a tendency to be very protective and that could can bite you a little bit. Here's a link, I'll put it in the description below for the American Kennel Club, but I wanna talk about this article right here that I'll put in. All these links I'll put below. The Russian Prison Guard Dogs, the legendary Caucasian of Charka, domestic dog breed big enough to not only take down a bear, but also kill it. I, these dogs, they're called Russian bear dogs. They've got a little bit of a, a, you know, a fantasy fiction built up behind them. They're not gonna kill a bear. However, they were used to defend against bears and maybe, you know, enough of these could really do some damage. I know there's some stuff out there where they've had, you know, a couple of them kill wolves. That is that is true. And they were used to defend against like Amur Tigers, Siberian Tigers. Top end close here we go, three feet and 200 pounds. It's one of the largest breeds. These dogs are huge. They're really sweet, but they're very protective. They need a job. The Soviets used these and adopted them and started really kind of breeding them for their purpose in the 70s, uh, 60s and 70s. The Caucasian dogs were one of the several breeds used to patrol the Berlin Wall in Germany in the 1960s. There were almost 7,000 of these large beast badass dogs on the other side, the bad, you know, the, the communist side of the Berlin Wall, not the western side, the eastern side. The Caucasian of Charka was like 1996, I believe, when the AKC let it in. And then it is still really popular in Russia. And it dates back its lineage to its uh, couple thousand years. The Russian military and Russian prison guards put their dogs through rigorous training. They taught these dogs to tell the difference and attack someone wearing like prison clothes, like tattered clothes, you know. And then they would come back and be sweet with the guards and the people that they knew. They, they, are, they can turn like that. They can differentiate between I will go attack this and come back over here and lay down. That's my job. They defended, you know, flocks and livestock. That was their job. And it was out in some of the most remote areas. So these dogs needed to learn to think for themselves. So that's what makes them really independent. And they don't always, uh, some dogs, like my German Shepherd, almost always looks to me for what to do next. This dog doesn't. It makes its decisions. And you kind of have to tell it or teach it to look to you. Otherwise, it'll just do what it wants. Um, the Caucasian of Charka is still valued for its prey drive, intellect, and health. So, in Western societies, I guess, well, it's not even so much that, just like the U.S., Europe, they're trying to breed more of a docile Caucasian shepherd, while other regions are still keeping it for its guard you know, protection thing. It should be handled with respect, as well as taught to respect people and other animals of shapes and sizes. This thing can do some serious damage. Uh, the Russian bear dog got that nickname. It looks like a bear. They say that it's killed bears. That's kind of a little bit fantasy. But it's got, when you pet it, it doesn't feel like a dog. It feels like a bear. The fur is thicker. It's bigger in diameter and rougher, more coarse. And it doesn't, it, it feels different than like your normal dog. See the misleading name, Caucasian Shepherd. 
right here. They came from Georgia State that was part of the USSR, which disbanded in 1991. But it's from the Caucasus region. The Russian bear dog is not afraid of anyone or anything. And this is true. This dog does not startle. The other dogs will startle. It doesn't startle. It usually doesn't bark very much. And when it does, it has figured out what's going on. It barks at that one thing or whatever it is. Like, it, it's... Uh, it's a smart dog. You can see it in its eye. It works things out. There isn't much that can stop this dog. And once it gets going, it will it will fight to the death. It won't even stop. It doesn't care. It will go, go, go. Uh, they're considered one of the oldest dog breeds right here. Uh, the oldest ones, the Molliser breed, still in existence today. The beginning can be traced back over 2,000 years. You know, it's Mastiff-type dogs right here. Cane Corso... Mastiff, Bull Mastiff, and so on. Impressive size. We talked that they're very large. Very fluffy. They do need some brushing. See, look at the coat on this one. How it's smooth on the head. But they have a, like a lion's mane. It's pretty. It's like a bear, a lion, and a dog all mixed in one. They were part of the Red Star Kennel, which was a nationalized kennel because... Uh, all national property was part of the state, right? The Russian kennel was responsible for creating the Black Russian Terrier, versatile working dog used by the Russian military and police for decades. And then the Russian bear dog became a significant part of the kennel's program where they were in charge of employing training, promoting breeding, and promoting the, uh, or training, breeding, and promoting breed, promoting the breed throughout Russia and the rest of the world. It's still, it's, it's a very up and coming growing breed people are hearing about it wanting one they're hard to find the breed is not meant to act like a loving family pet i'll disagree a little bit on this depending on how you raise it mine is a loving pet but it has a job and he knows or she knows what you know we're going to do we have a schedule we have a rhythm uh this dog is a protector it needs something to protect and it will get food aggressive it will protect bones mine i have to check on her quite a bit because she'll get out there and bully the other dogs go take the bones that are in the yard put a pile like an elephant graveyard and lay there and protect that pile if she doesn't have something to do and she will get snippy with the other dogs they need a confident leader that can train them they need confident but not like abusive or harsh even with proper training and socialization there's still a chance that these dogs can get a little out of hand so there you go. Uh, it's not for, if this is your first dog, I highly suggest that, you know, you find something else. But if you're an experienced dog owner and you're looking for a loyal, fierce defender, and, you know, my, mine, I have kids, you know, high school age, junior high school age, and no issues whatsoever. Very cuddly, very their friends can come over and we haven't had any issues at all. No signs of aggression towards people. But then again, socialized very early out and about. Trips to the store, trips to the hardware store, meeting new people, meeting new dogs. And that I think that was the key. All right. Uh, thanks for staying. If you made it this far, like, subscribe, comment, share this. Show people uh, what a great dog this is. Great breed. Love it. Plan to get another one soon, maybe within a year or so. Uh, 